Hey, it's Drew with Southern Yankee Innovations, and today I'm going to show you how to put a rear remote system on a Ford 3600 tractor. And Hattie's going to be our little helper today, and she's going to help us install the kit. Here's where the plate is. You'll remove the five bolts and install the new valve in the same location. So here's the box that the rear remote came in. We've got a bag of miscellaneous hardware as the bolt for the valve and some washers, the quick connect for the remote, the mounting bracket for the hoses, the valve with the lever, and then there's also two hoses. So before you get started, just make sure you lower the three-point hitch um, to relieve the pressure off the valve. It's going to be a 5 eighths or 16 millimeter. All right, the top one's going to be a half inch or a 13 millimeter. So mine already came with the O-rings installed. Some do not, just make sure you put them all in. This one here is just a round O-ring. Fits in there just right. Just make sure when you're installing it that all the O-rings stay in place. I had one that was a little loose and would fall. It comes with new hardware. the old one. It's quite a bit shorter. Two longer ones go on this side and the two shorter ones go over here. Can I help? Yep, you can turn those, Hattie. Can I turn one? Mm -hmm. Can you turn one? Yep. You need to turn them all the way. Yep, gotta turn them all the way down. I can, yeah. I can't spin it all day. Alright, you want to do that one? Doesn't they spin all the round like mm -hmm. Did you get it? Yes, I'm loose. So the one side, the bolts are much longer with the new hardware than the old. So I am going to use the old ones because the other ones bottom out before they tighten up the valve. Blue. Yep, put the blue ones in. Okay, one and two. All right. This actually locks. Yeah. I spin it all the way. You just got it all the way down. You're a good helper. My brace around me, Jay. It's okay. And the necklace. Yeah. And the monkey on my back. You get a monkey on your back. Yep. Alright, you can tighten it. Is this thing? Mm hmm. There you go, now do it. Alright, now do the other side. Okay. Good job. Oh, then make sure that tying up. Mm 
Now what, Dad? So for me, the hardware that came with it, you can barely see when it bottomed out, it was only two threads deep. So I'm going to have to just use extra washers on the bolt that came out of the tractor. You just put the lever for the valve in here. And then just tighten up the set screw. All right, so you can see I used three washers in the original bolt. And then I used the original bolts on that side because that side was too short. And then the set screws tightened on the valve. All right, put your thread tape on and go ahead and get it started. When wrapping your Teflon tape, you want to have it the same direction that you're turning it. I've got the hoses on. Here's the mountain bracket. Mounts on the axle housing bolts. Looks like if I keep it here, it should be far enough out of the way of everything and the hoses will be long enough. these through the back nut so after you tighten all that up you just connect the back side of the hoses and tighten everything down all right and lastly put your o-rings on rear remote hookup. Alright, so here it is all hooked up. Lever works this way. You can flip it out the other way, but I figured it'd be in the way of your legs. Back. 